up, y'all? This your boy Ro J T Reeves, man. We back. New episode. We bought a special guest, one of my best friends, man. Somebody I watched come up. Uh, NFL tight end, man. Canard back, man. What? Come on, man. Hey, man. <laughs> I, hey, it, on, on, it man. almost feel crazy being on like a show. It don't even feel like a show. Man, this is yeah, just, this ain't nothing but homeboys talking. Series, you know. You know? You this know, this ain't nothing but that. But uh. Man, so right now, I know you got a lot of stuff going, man. Just let the people know what you're working on, your personal life, what you got going on with football right now. What, what's going on, man? Uh, well, just coming back, you know, I just finished my uh, my second season, man. Yep. Uh, Congrats, yeah, man. yeah, yeah, I know. That's yeah, crazy. Going, yeah. going, on, going on number three, you know, it's just off season back yep. in Atlanta, so. It feel good to be back, man. It's it's warm, bro. It's, it feel, yeah, good it feel good. It feel good to be back in some warm. Outside, so. Yeah, man. Being Detroit, man, it's cold. But I mean, everything's good, man. I'm just trying to get back and just you know rehab and just trying to take everything off from there. Never been in a warm place. That's crazy. Nah, <laughs> nah. Never. And I, <laughs> I, I'm gonna get into that later. But so yeah. I mean, we're gonna get right to it, man. For a lot of people that don't know. Um, you were on UAB in college, one of the last, you know, football teams in the program. Just, um, right you know, before they uh, right, ended right, the program, right? right? Yeah, right yeah. yeah. So, if you could just take us through, you ain't got to go in depth too much, but just, you know, how was that experience your senior year, and then how did that kind of play into like how you felt about, you know, the direction of where they're going at UAB, and you know, some of the stuff that, you know, that we may not know, yeah, from, out, from the outside. Well, it, it's like a, it's like a bittersweet feeling, you know, mm -hmm. because. You know, with everything kind of went down, uh, the last game of the season, uh, we were, you know, kind of going back. We were bowl eligible uh, after winning that game. We were six of six, and you know, just everything after that. Just the AD, the AD didn't come in the locker room, and uh, after that game, and that was one of the best seasons we had in like ten years. So right. I just thought something was up with that, and you know, ended up shutting down the program, and uh, basically everybody had from so I shut down. I think December first. You know, mm -hmm. the guys had basically almost a month. You know, because they want to get enrolled for the start of the spring semester, so they had basically a month to find school. So, you know, it was like a, it was almost like a recruiting, like a recruiting house. You know, yeah, as far right. as just colleges coming in trying to get players. But, you know, just you know how you know sometimes sports work. It doesn't. You don't just come in and just get the scholarship. You know, to go play at an yeah, SEC yeah, school yeah, like that. Like you know. That, yeah. So um, for a lot of those guys, you know, they had to transfer, go different schools, and kind of JUCO route. But uh, but now seeing it kind of reverse and seeing it come back, like I said, like it's kind of a good feeling to see it come mm -hmm. back. But, you know, when you look at it from a sense of just how many lives, you know what I'm saying, kind of ruined and, yeah. you know, and not not just not ruined, but it's affected. I mean, like I said, a lot of guys, you know, just came, you know, halfway across the country to, you know, try to come and play football for a team they thought was going to be here for a university and, then, you know, for somebody to pull the plug and. But like I said, though, with Bill Clark and his staff and our coach stayed there. I don't know if y'all knew that, but our coach stayed there. So uh, they seem like they, they seem like they know what they're doing. They got a new stadium. So UAB 17 is the return. Uh, good to see that coming back because I do remember like, and I and I hit you up about it when I saw the, the video on ESPN with the guy in, was in sad, the room man. crying. Yeah, yeah. That was sad. and I always say with anything, whenever a grown man is that emotional, you know he really really hurts. So. Yeah, I've never seen. A room full of grown men cry like uh, like uh, like 50, 60, 70 grown men like all ages, you know, torn, you know, trying to make decisions, man. You, I mean, it, it's all like I said, it all seems like it's working for the better. Like I said, a lot of those guys, you know, are doing better. So, you know, man, you can't even explain. Yeah, you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't. Now, now for you, man, after UAB, you were blessed enough to get drafted by the Green Bay Packers, one of my favorite teams. Oh um, man, this guy talk about Green Bay all the time. All the time. D. Aaron Rodgers, mm -hmm. you know, just you don't got to talk about him in particular, but just kind of tell us, you know, your experience as a rookie, be, going from college football to the NFL, like, and what would you say, you know, some of the experiences that stick out to you most, like during that time? Because not a lot of people could say, like, you know, I've been a part of the Green Bay Packers football program. Yeah, 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 yeah. So. I guess started off, you know, just being drafted. Uh, that was just a whole unique experience in itself, you know, right, just, right. you know, I kind of had Green Bay, you know, I kind of developed my own little list, you know, kind of like a kid, you know, just sitting there developing a list, like where you want to go, where you want right. to go, like, mm -hmm. and they were actually at my top of my list, you know, like the top two or three, so that was kind of cool in itself, but it's so cold up there, you know, that was, <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you, that was something that I had to get adjusted to, but man, I scored my first preseason game, man. I remember that. And I was like, my first, it was the first home preseason, man. It was just, it was just a unique experience, man. I'll probably say something like a highlight would probably be just, 
I mean, whether it been, I mean, when we played Detroit, when we played Detroit and Aaron, and Aaron through, that yeah, Hail the Hail Mary, oh, I probably said that was one of the like all the time too. Yeah, mm -hmm. between that and probably I probably just say talking to Julius Peppers, man. I got to talk to him mm -hmm. like. Me and him actually became, you know, pretty close. You know, I got to talk to him on the, um, Dude, man. yeah, man. Too. Just I his, love UNC. I love him. Yeah. His pepper, dog. Man, hey, man, he's a, he's an animal. I'm just like his approach to the game. I probably said that was one of my highlights, just being able to get to really talk to him and yeah. develop a relationship with him. So I, think, I thought that was cool. Right, cool. Mm -hmm. I mean, like I said, me and Tev, and then for those of you that don't know, Kennard's actually on the Detroit Lions right now. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. For those of you that don't know that. But uh, something me and Tev always talk about, and, you know, we can only talk about from a fan point of view. A lot of people don't know you got the experience, both Tom Brady and Aaron Rodgers, like, go to work on first daily. Team experience, yeah. So, you know, like I said, me and Tev, we can sit up here and talk about these guys, but we can only go by the statistics and what we see on TV. What? You know, do you remember from them too, as far as seeing them in practice and film, you know, in games? Obviously, you probably spent more time with Aaron, but even with the little time that you got with Tom, what do you think, you know, about his approach to the game? Or, you know, who sticks out to you most between those Talk two? Talk about they work at yeah. or whatever. Yeah, you know, it's probably crazy. Yeah, I mean, um, first off, you talking about two of the best people that ever played the game. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, there's always arguments about that, but. Uh, you know, as far, as far as playing with Aaron, I think, you know, he's just, I mean, just smooth, you know, calm. I mean, he, he's a true leader, you know. I mean, you see, just watching him every day is just, you know, it's, it's always like a magician, you know. Right. Just, be, just watching the stuff he's able to do. I mean, you know, throwing no-look passes. I mean, just, mm -hmm. you know, commanding the huddle. I mean, it, it's, it's phenomenal. You kind of transition, you know, toward Tom. He's, a, he's the same way, you know. I mean. You're talking to, like I said, Tom, I mean, being able to check plays, I mean, at, right. at the line, I mean, those two guys do a good job of knowing what, you know, knowing what the defense is in, what the defense is in, and like exploiting that, you know, mm -hmm. and, and running with it, you know. Uh, you know, when I was at New England, you know, for that short term, I mean, I definitely, you could definitely feel his leadership and his presence in the room, and I mean, there's no, it, like, I mean, I see that hat on your head, man. I'm a, <laughs> hey, I'm a fan, bro. I'm a fan. I am a fan. Yeah, I'm gonna ask you some questions about but that game a little. Dang, bit. I'm not a but fan. Go ahead. They, I'm not a hater, fan. right? I'm happy. I'm not, I don't they, care but, about that hat. But it's hard to bet against the goat, though, and I'm just gonna leave it at that. Yeah, that's that's exactly now, where we at. Hey, me and Tell too. We always <laughs> talk about New England, and we say this system. I, I know I always and, and yeah. everybody. I feel like everybody says like, oh, such and such is only good in that system, or. That system and Tevin, he always says, "Well, what is the system?" With well, somebody who been there, is there a system? I think or it's. Is it I think I always thought it was just preparation. Them dudes look like they always are prepared to me. Prepare for each week. I don't know if it's a system. Like you said, he, he'll have more insight than us. Right. Yeah. He look, may not even be able to share I that. I know Bel Belichick hearing them from way over there. Like, hey, you can't be giving away too many clues, but. <laughs> I mean, like, is there a system, bro? Like, because I feel like everybody says, like, there is only good. Brady's only good in Belichick system, or such and such only good in Belichick system. Like, is there a system? Well, there's always a system. There's a way about go. There's a way you do right. things. Yeah. Right. And the, the teams who are successful have a system, a culture that you know that breeds and implements certain things and only certain things emulate from that system you know right, what i'm right. saying so mm -hmm. i think to now to say tom brady is just a, a a system quarterback and think you can't put him on another team and think he's gonna no nah, i don't i don't I'm, you, you, people, you know definitely try to make that you know argument. that's that people like that. that's <laughs> not that that's not that's not accurate that i don't think that's accurate but i mean like i said from like they have a culture in place and as you see, man, they, I mean, even when they were down three touchdowns, that, I mean, that, that's that's heartbreaking, man. It's kind of like, hard. It's kind of hard. The people I seen yesterday that's crushed by that Falcons. The city was crushed. I was crushed. He didn't care. <laughs> I was tripping. So yeah. what? So what? So so what? Just, do you just say is it the system that? Because you know, I mean, you hear that so much with with New England. That's I, all I've been hearing that since I was like a, a kid. Like, oh, it's the New England system. It's the New England system. But I'm like. What is the system? And when Tevin asked me, I was kind of like, I don't know what the system is. I, mean, I, I never thought it was a system. Like Kennard I think, said, you know, I think it's a culture. And yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Everybody buys into that culture. It don't matter, like you said, if you're Malcolm Floyd and you just got picked up off the DUI or, you know, if you're just a random Edelman or, you know, whoever you may be or yeah. the last man on the bench. You know what I'm saying? None of that matters. 
I feel like everybody buys in and they got one goal in mind. That's what I always see. That. Yeah. That. That's what I saw. Yeah, I mean I think, you know, you I think if you really dig deep into most successful teams, organizations, businesses, I think you you see that there is an underlying system or culture, right. however you want to call it, you know. Mm -hmm. So I don't know, they, I mean. Now see, you made some jokes about the Super Bowl. And I'm like, I already gave what I thought. Why are you he still wearing that hat, but, man? Man, cause I'm, you know, That's I got crazy. love still, man. I want to see my sister. <laughs> he still got, well. still got the sticker on it. And, 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 he know he's trying to take it back. <laughs> he know he's trying to take it back. Receipt, man. Man, look, you see, Future just dropped the album. We got our morale back. Oh yeah. So like I'm saying, like, goes hot. Everything, saying. everything so, hey, good. Man. All right. Hey, Atlanta just needs to hey. stay a hip hop scene. That's why I keep trying to tell y'all. See so y'all hey. saying get rid of sports. I mean, I don't we know, got, man. You know, nah, we can. Nah, then what we gonna be? <laughs> what we gonna be? They get rid of sports. Come on, now. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, bro. We got. But uh, man, we talked about the Super Bowl. What's some things you thought they could have done different as a team? Because I know me, I already said I feel like they wouldn't come from playing with the lead. And that's one of the hardest things to do in football. In a big game like that, you, I don't think they were prepared to be up 21 to 3. It's just or like 28 to 3. I feel like it was just like that basketball game, you know what I'm saying? You get up 20, you don't you know if you should slow it down. Bro. Yeah, it's that weird. Start playing that I feel time, like the Falcons playing. didn't know if they should play the score or play to hold the ball. And like, so what would you think? Like, if you if you're on the Falcons, you know what I'm saying? You on the sideline. You like, man, coach should do this. What what is Kennard thinking in that sense? Uh, we are t we in the big game. We are 28-3. Mm -hmm. How do we, you know, what I'm saying, make sure we don't give Tom Brady another chance? Well, I mean, personally, I'm the type of player. This is why my this is why I may not need to go into coaching just yet. I mean, I'm trying to I'm trying to I'm trying to keep I'm trying to keep my keep foot. Yeah, yeah, of course. That's what I said. It's gotta be. It's, I mean, that's my mindset. I mean, we're talking all the marbles. You know, I mean, at you know, I don't I don't see a bigger a bigger stage, a bigger, a bigger venue. I feel yeah. like yeah. I feel like trick plays. I mean, everything everything should come out. You know, I, what yeah. are we saving it for? Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's yeah. Uh, we if do. we're up to, I mean, maybe I mean, obviously, got to be a little conservative. You can't just right. be throwing trick plays in the in I don't know wherever. But that's where that's why I said maybe that's where coaches get into coaches. But yeah. I mean, I said we keep the foot. You know, keep the it's foot on. Yeah. I'm trying to blow you out. So. Yeah. It, it, and yeah, because it, when it, I feel bad. like I'm trying to blow you out. A lack of days, a cool standpoint, or like a standstill, like. When we're up 21 and everybody's kind of like, that's when I feel like a lot of mistakes start to happen, or like you get lack of, lack of days cool thinking, you know, just I don't know. So this is my question: You don't feel like they kept their foot on the pedal because they're still they still were passing the ball. They ran the top the ball five like, times when they were up 25 points. I think it was five or five. It was somewhere between yeah, it was five single, nine yeah, times. Yeah, single digits now. So you know, Brandon if they throwing the ball, I don't see that as. They obviously was thinking about, all right, we got to keep it going. Right. But they just couldn't seem to keep, keep it going is what it looked like. Yeah. So Definitely should have ran the ball more, I think, you yeah, know. That would make more sense. Run, run more of the clock. Um, I thought Freeman played well. No, they, they did. killing they, us on the ground. Yeah. Oh, no, no. Nah, nah, I, I, thought, I, thought, I thought they played well. I, I thought they played well. I mean... You can't leave. You can't. You can't. It's just, you can't leave. You can't. It's only an error. So many mistakes. You know, the margin of error is so small. And when you kind of let people, you know, just let people hang around. Yeah. You know that. I mean, that's a. Yeah. yeah. And I, I mean, thought they played Atlanta's three the perfect quarters. I thought, I, thought I thought they played three perfect quarters. You can't quarters. ask for nothing else. Twenty-eight nine going into the fourth. You cannot complain about that. And then that fourth quarter, <laughs> man, it just. And I guess that's the why city we got Tom Brady down. in our generation, huh? Yep. That, that, that's crazy to me. That's a bad man. That's crazy. I'm still, but I saw, I, I keep telling Tevin, I've seen what was going on. I seen what was going on. He did not NFL believe in his team. It up. He did nah, not believe in his I, team. I believed him. I, I just didn't know what was going, going on. on. I was confused. I'm looking at it like, <laughs> I. it doesn't, the, the statement that the Atlanta Falcons beat Tom Brady in the Super Bowl makes no like no sense to me at all. <laughs> it doesn't. That's just me. He is a hater, bro. That's not a he hater statement. A hater. That make like he believe in the culture. Oh, Shout out to Miko. Shout out to Miko. <laughs> <laughs> bro, where am I from, bro? I gotta be from the A, bro. I gotta be. Every time he in Wisconsin, bro, he, he wanna come back to the A. He yeah, the a. man. Music. A. Yeah, man. You know we don't get no music out there, man. Yeah. Oh, man. So I started. I had an A. So I started. I had to start to make my own music, man. Look. Hey. Nah, hey, I'm go ahead. You might as well go. You done touched yeah, on it. Now you might as well. Keep telling me what, what, what else you doing, you working man? on yeah. outside of football, cause. Well, people, I feel like this is unfair for athletes, by the way. They expect us to only like sports. Like, mm -hmm. we do do other things, people. Mm -hmm. Like, so what's some things you're working on outside of football? 
that you know you got to have before that you may you know turn into you know yeah yeah some businesses uh, you know uh like i said the music the music i mean i've been playing i've been playing i've been in the band since like seventh grade what so i got the zay told me skills so, what you used to play uh i started out with the trombone man i, I started yeah here he goes you nah, got, got that for you now. Man, so I seen the setup at the crib. I got a little setup, so now I just uh, that's I just be I play around a little bit. I mean, y'all, you know, you know a little bit. Yeah. So you got to you got to yeah, man. But uh, outside of that, you know, man, I cut hair. I've been uh, uh been doing that. Shit, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, y'all see is football. Y'all yeah, I've know. been cutting hair for a minute. I think that's outside of football. That's probably like my next passion. Uh, mm -hmm. I set up, set up a little shot. We probably really started, man. Like, um, you can go. It's all right. You can plug the barber shop. Go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead and plug the barber shop one time, man. man. Y'all come check it out now. I'm about to. Uh, I, it really started probably like um, back in high school, just giving like two dollar lineups. I used to get me and my old boy at Lemons, Cam. You know Cam Lemons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get two dollar lineups in the library and. And it just kind of went from there. Just started you cutting. Was cutting at college. Yeah, I was cutting at UAB. Me and crew kind of opened up a shop downstairs. You know, a lot of people, coaches and stuff. We used to cut hair. Squad up, huh? Yeah, I used to cut. <laughs> man, you know, we went charge hey, five dollars. Hey, five dollars. This, this my man. I done been best friends with this dude. Five dollars. This man a hustler, y'all. Yeah. If, if no, I don't see no money out of it, it don't make sense. Yeah. yeah. Let me so, let me look. start by saying I hated both of these dudes oh, in middle man. school, man. Both see? of them. That's something else y'all don't know. For those of you that don't know, Kennard was a basketball player before he was in a football player. So we definitely got to ask him some basketball mm -hmm. questions and what he think about the league right now. So, Nard, who is your team in the NBA? I mean, right now, who do you look at and be like, man, that's my or dude your right guy? There. You know, yeah, that's my dude right there. I got a guy. Huh? Isaiah right. Thomas right now, I mean. Ooh. You got look, that's right a homie, man, look. Hey, I mean, that, I mean. That dude's a savage. He makes right. you a fan. He makes you a fan. Like I, I enjoy watching people like that. Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, then uh, Kyle Corver. He got fifteen thousand out threes. I think, man. I thought. Yep. Shout out to Kyle Corver. He yeah. killing it. Yeah, He's man. It now I was scared for a minute. He came. We lost like five straight. He, he, made, he yeah. makes sense though, man. He, he makes he, sense he with get, that. He well. getting it now. Anybody with Brian, you can you can spot up and shoot the ball like him, man. It's yeah. All good. Obviously, I, today to start the All Star Weekend. Who is some of your favorite? All stars, or who, or what events are you excited to watch this weekend, and who you think could be MVP? Hey, first off, it, the funniest part, of, I, the best part of All Star Weekend, I like is the celebrity game. Oh, uh, and I'm the one who hates the celebrity. Man, that is, it is, it's hilarious. I love the celebrity it game. On who in it? I love the celebrity game. So we got the celebrity game. Mm -hmm. Uh, I, know first of all, who do you think about the slam dunk contest? I get, I I'm like going Derrick Jones. Is that his name? The, I still Derrick don't know. Jones. D. I call him D League. I don't know his name. But yeah, dude from D League. Yeah, that's Derrick Jones. That's I think that's his name. Yeah. Yeah, I got to I got to watch him. Uh, I get Aaron Gordon in there again. Yeah. I know he about to do something. He he, he said, won last year. No, nah, he did. He did. He that was good that. though. Yeah. But D League, I'm thinking D League. If he lets me down, I'm, I'm I don't know. D League what might let us down because he gets two bounces. D Stop oh, putting do, big man in the in the dunk who, who contest. In there? I'm tired of that. What who about is uh who in there? Uh, DeAndre Jordan, they bro. Need to stop that. I'm so tired of that, man. DeAndre got two dunks. I, I'm saying they they he can dunk the, he the can hell dunk out that. the basketball in the but, game, but he's not no dunk contest guy. Just like Dwight Howard wasn't, you know. Nah, uh, Dwight. Nah, they gotta stop doing. Nah, that. nah, they got they were, they they were playing way too much with Dwight. Yeah. And then who was somebody you think can win MVP this weekend? I said who did I say? I said either Anthony Davis. Or uh, Russell Westbrook. Yeah, I got yep. Russ. Who, yep. who you think? Anthony Davis. I think because he's I mean, home. He, yeah, and I mean, yeah, he's gonna he's gonna act a fool. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He's gonna act a fool. I mean, I love his game, dude. I mean, I feel like that's somebody. I he feel like I his game. I doubt I him in college. I doubt I him coming out of college. I love his game. I, I doubt him coming out of college. Me too. He, I think it'd be this. What I say, no. What I say with Davis, and we're gonna wrap it up here soon. What I say with Davis is like. It still look like his body ain't developing. And it kind of bothers me how it look. Like, every time I watch, I'm like, ooh, he's going to get hurt. And I don't like watching people <laughs> where I'm like, dang, he's going to get hurt any second here. <laughs> and I like Carl Towns. I done told Tevin and everybody. I'm a Carl Towns guy. I feel like they Over AD? In the long run. What's the long run? I don't think. Yeah, what's the long run? Because I don't think Carl Towns is that far off at, what is he? He barely 21, I want to say. Town? They both young though. You saying. feel me? They both young. Yeah, one year in, but in college. But I feel like I feel like Davis is present and Towns is still gonna be that future, bro. Like I don't know. I just I like his. He only been in the league two, not even two years yet. 
Anthony Davis, what, and like fight four? Four, yeah. But you, in this league, you a vet once you hit that fourth, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, because it's so young. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I feel like Carl Towns, he still got a lot of potential. Like, he still got to get to his second year. And this year, he should have been all star. I feel I like. don't, I don't agree with that. I keep telling you that. You got to win some games, bro. And they living below the uh, the standard for where they supposed but to be at. So is New Orleans. We're I not going to do this one again. We yeah, just you're right. You're right. That, 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 <laughs> I hate that argument. Yeah, so we going back We just did this But you can't that. have a New Orleans All-Star game and not have AD. No, nah, that makes that don't make no sense. sense. I totally understand. You can't and that's that. why I said he'll get MVP. I okay. think. I'd be highly surprised if he don't. So, man, we're about to wrap it up. Now, you got anything else to say? Tell me anything. This is your moment. Uh, man, I would get shout-outs, but, man, I, it ain't even that, it ain't even that time to get shout-outs. It ain't even get time to say. Hey, I appreciate it, man. I ain't even doing no shout-outs, man. Hey, I just want to tell you, I appreciate you and the love, man, the support, man. Time, bro. We, I, it's yeah, it's, have you on here, hey, it's almost, like I said, it's like crazy I'm out here, man. But I don't, it's, it's an honor to have you. Anything else, T? Nah, just like you said, man, we appreciate you coming, bro. Yeah. For real, for real, man. Good to see it's you, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all know I get. I keep subscribing. Check out my boy Kennard. Make sure y'all follow him next year at Detroit Lions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Year number it, three man. coming up. So. Year number three, man. We working. Yeah. We ain't gonna talk about it. We just working. That's it. Y'all gonna <laughs> see the work. <laughs> <laughs> we out, man. Peace.